what is a primary residence clause in a prenuptial agreement? I'm Carrie Jacobson with Jacobson Family Law, and we help keep the drama out of your divorce. So a primary residence clause is a provision in your prenuptial agreement that specifies who will get to stay in the marital home after the separation and potentially during the divorce proceedings. However, it does not address the specific ownership. It doesn't say who's going to own the property, simply who's gonna be able to live in it during the divorce proceedings. So let's talk about a simple example of what this might look like when a couple is looking to create the prenuptial agreement. So in this scenario, John and Jenny are getting married. Jenny plans on being a stay-at-home parent and they plan to have three kids. So she's worried that what's gonna happen in the divorce because she has no other form of income. She learns about the primary residence clause and believes that would be great for her particular situation. She talks to her spouse or soon to be spouse about it and he agrees. Although he wants to make sure that the house, if they do divorce, remains his property. And all of that is possible by having a primary residence clause. So they negotiate this clause and agree that if they happen to get divorced in the future, Jenny's going to remain in the primary residence for a period of three years after filing for the divorce. This covers the amount of time it would be for the pr divorce proceedings, as well as some time after, so that she and the kids have a place to live for a period of time. So let's fast forward this example and see what happens when John and Jenny actually get divorced. So 10 years later, they actually do decide to move forward with a divorce and they have three kids. Since they have this prenuptial agreement with the primary residence clause, Jenny is gonna be able to stay in the house for a period of three years and John will have to move out. After that three years, the property will, will continue to be owned by John. So this allows for the kids to stay in the home that they have been used to and allows Jenny to become employed and get an income of her own to become self-supporting. If you have questions about whether or not a primary residence clause would be a beneficial cause in your prenuptial agreement, contact us today and we would be happy to help.